hundreds of science fiction books are full of alien interlopers secretly entering the solar system to snoop on humanity as we emerge as a technologically capable race. So, it's no surprise that the excitement that started to build when, on 19th October 2017, the astronomer Dr. Robert Merrick spotted an object whizzing through the solar system while using the Pan-STAR telescope at Halaika Observatory in Hawaii. Dubbed Oumuamua after the Hawaiian word for scout, this object is extremely elongated, possibly up to a kilometer long, but not more than 167 meters wide, making it look like a space cucumber. The first known interstellar object to visit our solar system, it's traveling so fast that there is no way that it can be gravitationally bound by the sun. The observations suggest that this unusual object had been wandering through the Milky Way, unattached to any other star system, for hundreds of millions of years before its chance encounter with our star system. It is therefore understood as an interloper that formed outside our solar system and subsequently trekked all the way here. An interloper is basically an object that is on an interstellar trajectory but is temporarily passing close to a star such as certain asteroids and comets, including exocomets. In the latter case, the object may be called as an interstellar interloper. While at first astronomers reckoned that it was an asteroid, a closer look at the Oumuamua's motion threw up something strange. The sun's gravity was not the only thing affecting its trajectory through space. This prompted some researchers to suggest that it could be an alien space probe. If it had a solar sail attached, pressure from the solar wind could be helping it to blow off course. However, this idea has received backlash from most quarters and since the object is more likely to be something entirely natural, most of the evidence scientists agree points towards a comet. Estimates suggest that the interloper Oumuamua entered the solar system in the Victorian era, but astronomers do not know exactly how long that it has wandered space alone before it got here. In August 2018, a sturdy data from the European Space Agency's Gaia telescope identified four stars that it would have passed close to in the last one to seven million years. Perhaps one of these could be its home star. This interstellar interloper appears to be a rocky cigar-shaped object with a somewhat reddish hue. Oumuamua is up to one quarter mile long and highly elongated, perhaps even 10 times as long as it is wide. This aspect ratio is greater than that of any asteroid or comet ever observed in our solar system. While its elongated shape is quite surprising and unlike objects seen in our solar system, it may provide new clues into how other solar systems formed. Immediately after its discovery, telescopes around the world, including ESO's very large telescope in Chile, were called into action to measure the object's orbit, brightness and color. Urgency for viewing from ground-based telescopes was vital to get the best possible data. Combining the images from the FORS instrument on the ESO telescope using four different filters with one of the other large telescopes, a team of astronomers led by Karen Meech of the Institute of Astronomy in Hawaii found that Oumuamua varies in brightness by a factor of 10 as it spins on its axis every 7.3 hours. No known asteroid or comet from our solar system varies so widely in its brightness, with such a large ratio between its length and its width. The most elongated objects we have seen to date are no more than three times longer than they are wide. The study suggests that Oumuamua is dense, composed of rock and possibly metals, has no water or ice, and that its surface was reddened due to the effects of irradiation from cosmic rays over hundreds of millions of years. Astronomers estimate that an interstellar object 
similar to Oumuamua, passes through the inner solar system about once per year. But they are faint and hard to spot and have been missed until now. It is only recently that survey telescopes such as Pan-STARRS S1 are powerful enough to have a chance to discover them. What a fascinating discovery this is, said Paul Chodas, manager of the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena in California. It's a strange visitor from a faraway star system, shaped like nothing that we have ever seen in our own solar system neighborhood. Think of all the ways in which Oumuamua could be a site of intergalactic rife, a floating space cucumber with endless celestial possibilities. So cool, am I right? Thanks for watching this video.